Jones. Good morning, Katie the Timber. Good morning. <gasps> I believe right now, let me go uh, to Facebook. I, yeah, we are on Facebook Live right now. You can <clears throat> see the little kitty cat. Oh. So uh, Katie Timber from the SPCA of Southwest Michigan in the studio with us now. Heather McGregor is manning the iPhone with the Facebook Live situation. Look at the tail. And we have a little red kitty cat. Meow. <laughs> and and what, what is this? Oh, my God, those eyes. I know. Okay, so this is Xander. He's about three months old, three and a half months. He's from Kalamazoo County. He has a little nubby tail. He's orange. And he has cross eyes. <gasps> no. Look at him. He has a little blue cross His eyes. eyes are the cutest thing ever. They are. So I saw this oh. kitten at the pound, and then oh, I called yeah. one of my cat ladies and asked if we had space, and she had already oh. seen this kitten at the pound. So think about that as cat love. Oh, yeah. oh my God. So oh, there's a little can baby. Can she see okay with yeah. the cross eyes? Well, he's a boy. Hey, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I don't mean to insult him. He's just a little insulted. It's fine. Oh! <laughs> hey, listen, sometimes guys have girls' names. And they have feminine qualities. It's okay. Hi, Dana. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, he can see fine. Okay, so uh, cats are very curious. So now, what, what's his name? You said Xander. So Xander is now going to explore the campfire studio. He's one I would watch. Watch The Wires. Oh yes, <laughs> you can you can you can watch this cat get lost into the oblivion of the studio right now on our Facebook page. So uh, Xander ready for action now, right? As of one p.m. today, someone yes. could make him a member of their family. So sixty nine fifty five West KL. If you're interested in adopting, come on out. We're open at one o'clock. We close at seven Tuesday through Friday, Saturday from eleven to four. Uh, those of you that listen to the show all the time, uh, you know what I'm about to talk about. It's cold outside. Yes. Four, it's currently four degrees with a wind chill of minus three. So with that in mind, that. a lot of people are thinking, well, dogs are built for being outside. And I'm sorry if you've heard me harp on this before, but they're not. If, if it's too cold for you, it's too cold for a dog. Even if your dog wants to be outside, right. think, think about this. Uh, when I was a kid, I wanted to be outside all day in the snow, too. Oh, I and hate you. That's it would, terrible. It would take my mom saying, get your stupid butt back in the house and get warmer. I would just be out there getting frostbite, making snowmans. Snowmans? Snowmans. Snowman. That's, what I, that's what I felt about cross-eyes. Snowmen. So like, yeah. So, uh, so a, a dog may want to be outside and could definitely hurt itself being outside in the cold for too long. So just be smart about this. They need access to water. Water that's not frozen, housing, bedding. So we actually have a program called Cold Moses Warm Hearts. We talk about this every year. Right. So if there's an outdoor dog, because it's technically, well, it's not illegal to keep your dog outside. We ask that you don't. But if you see an animal in need, contact us. Yes, please. Uh, that that's a that's a big deal to me. He, Hendrix, I don't have to worry about because he's a little princess. So when his paws get too cold, he just drops and he's like, "Hey, Dad, you're gonna be carrying me to the back door now. <laughs> I'm done walking." Okay, great. It is cold enough where they start picking up their paws. When you see them do that, it's because yeah. their little pads on their paws are getting frozen and it hurts. It does hurt. Yeah. That's sad for the babies. Yeah. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I, I don't think I'm ridiculous for like, it bothers me. I think about it probably too much. But uh, It yeah. should bother you. It's a mean thing to do. Yeah. I, yeah. Okay, so keep that in mind. If you're not going to keep your kid outside, why keep your pets outside? <laughs> and if you're going to or your neighbor does, we'll bring you a dog house. K-A-T-I-E at S-P-C-A-S-W-M-I-C-H dot org. Email me. That is awesome. I'm glad you do that. Well, thank you so much for coming in. We're gonna, I love you. We're going to pet the kitty cat, and uh, you can check the video out on Facebook Live. I love you. Bye. Did your neighbors deserve that with the dog?